I'm Jonathan. I'm working product marketing at uh, Google. I'm from the Paris office, uh, actually. Um, I wish you um, a great welcome to this session. Um, as an introduction, I wanted to say that um, you hear a lot about digital transformation and the impact that it can have on um, uh, your business. Uh, and in this session, we really wanted to focus on the metrics, on the KPIs, on the real numbers that you can put on this impact. And for this, I would like to welcome on stage Anish from Forrester, who worked on a full report uh, on this kind of uh, total economic impact that G Suite can have on your business, and also Monica from uh, Davi Vienda, who will share her experience about a digital transformation project that she had in the financial services and the impact that it had on her business. So to that, Anish, the floor is yours. Hello, everyone, and thank you, Jonathan. As Jonathan mentioned, I'm a principal consultant uh, at Forrester in our total economic impact practice, where we work with customers like Google and technology service providers like Google and their customers to develop a business case framework and model to help quantify the benefits and cost that organizations can accept, expect from implementing uh, um, a technology investment. So today I'll share with you the benefits that Google's customers have realized from investing in Google's G Suite uh, that offers a set of workplace applications uh, to help organizations transform their business. Before diving into what we heard from Google's customers and the business value that they've achieved, I want to talk about this new world that organizations are living in. Forrester's own research shows that technology innovation and digital disruption have fundamentally changed how employees access information, collaborate with their colleagues, and serve their customers. Employees are increasingly relying on cloud-based applications to do their jobs. In fact, Forrester's own research shows that 90% of organizations out there are either interested, evaluating, or already using cloud-based platforms to support their workforce needs. 80% of enterprises that use cloud-based platforms have adopted a cloud first or are prioritizing cloud for any new business applications that they bring on to their enterprise. And 75% of organizations agree that complementing employee tasks with features such as AI, collaboration platforms, and mobility is a crucial to their organization's future. In this new cloud-first world, organizations are evaluating solutions that can help working together more efficient, faster, and more secure. Today I'll talk to you about Forrester's TEI methodology and why we think it's very useful for prospects in considering and evaluating a technology um, investment. I will then talk to you about Google's customers who have adopted G Suite, um, the challenges they faced in their legacy environment, and why they decided to go to G Suite. And then I'll share with you a representative organization of the customers that we talked to um, to share the financial implications that these customers have achieved. So Forrester realizes how important it is to do a thorough business case uh, before making a technology investment. In fact, over 90% of organizations agree that a business case is either somewhat or very important to develop an economic justification before moving forward. So then that naturally leads to what is a good business case. So typically organizations do a TCO or an ROI analysis. And while these are great approaches, the challenge is you bake in a lot of assumptions to forecast future benefits and costs. So what Forrester does is actually talks to actual customers who have deployed the technology and talk about and understand their use case and understand their data and build a retroactive business case model for others to evaluate. And that's what you'll see in today's session. So for this particular analysis that we did on behalf of Google uh, G Suite, we interviewed eight customers that you see here. Um, they represent a variety of geographic markets, whether they operate just in North America or globally or Asia. They also represent different industry verticals from transportation to consumer packaged goods 
to the public sector. So we had a wide variety of industries and markets. And then we talked to companies who've deployed G Suite across various sizes. As you can see, um, uh, we have an automotive company here that deployed uh, G Suite for 4,000 customers or their 4,000 employee base and um, up to transportation companies that have over 50,000 employees. Prior to moving to G Suite, all of these customers use some sort of on-premise as well as cloud-based collaboration tools. Organizations were using cloud-based tools for specific point applications like chat, uh, video conferencing, and the others. While they're hosting their email and their document sharing and productivity applications on-premises. So that's the legacy environment that all these customers were operating before they went out to G Suite. So while talking to these customers, there are some themes of certain common challenges that started to emerge uh, regarding their collaboration platform and the collaboration tools that they were using uh, in their legacy environment. The first key challenge we heard is organizations really felt the pressure to reinvent the way they work, both internally as well as externally. So internally, organizations wanted to provide their employees with advanced business and collaboration tools while maximizing security. Meanwhile, externally, it was important that there was pressure to maintain competitive within the market, as well as a lot of expectations from prospective employees on how they could do work um, remotely within the ecosystem of the organization, which drove organizations to start reconsidering their legacy tools. An SVP of a financial services company told us, we truly had to reimagine how we do work. Our industry is being disrupted, and if we continue to do things the way we always have, we may survive, but we won't be as competitive as, competitive as we need to in this changing landscape. A second key challenge that emerged was organizations were looking to empower their employees with technology. Organizations realized that without the right tools, it was very difficult for their employees to meet and exceed the expectations that their customers were putting on them. There were constant issues that employees had with version controls, gaining access to information to make fast decisions, sharing information across colleagues, across markets, unproductive meetings, lots of travel. Um, that all could be avoided if there was some sort of uh, harmonious uh, cloud system in place. And a large number of these customers that we talked to, their employees were already using Gmail and Google Drive within their personal landscape. So it was a natural fit to consider G Suite. The third challenge that was very prevalent when we talked to Google's customers was that it was very difficult to start managing and integrating third party uh, security solutions to, to improve the overall security of their environment. Customers we talked to recognized the increased need and pressure to secure both their customer as well as their company data, bolster their network security, and allow it all by allowing, still allowing their employees to focus on tasks at hand and access data. So this was a big imperative for, for customers we talked to. So then why did these customers eventually choose G Suite? First and foremost, G Suite represented a bold transformation. By partnering with Google, organizations signaled to their employees, to the market, that they were taking strides to innovate and modernize their business. Second was that Google is cloud native. And organizations cited that being cloud native is a huge advantage and this means that they don't have to add additional on-premise infrastructure. They can increase scale of their security teams uh, by managing users and data and controlling devices. And now organizations can also sunset legacy applications and services that they had in their environment. So now based on all these interviews, we created a representative organization to tell the financial story of what organizations achieved. So based on our interviews with eight customers, we developed a composite or representative organization 
that's $3 billion in revenue, that operates globally. They have 20,000 employees. They did a phased uh, adoption of G Suite. So uh, in the first year, there was about 70 to 75% of their employee base on G Suite. And to um, years two and three, that grew to close to 100%. And then we used the employee count and revenue. Uh, we forecasted a 3% year over year revenue growth. So what you'll see in the numbers is based on this organization that we talked to. Um, so now let's get to the results and what we heard. So for this representative organization that I just talked about, over three years, they got an ROI of 331%, achieved benefits of close to $56 million, with an NPV of $43 million. And another strong benefit is that organizations were able to recoup their investment within their first year um, of going to G Suite. So now let's look at the details of how this organization achieved these strong results. For the organization, after implementing G Suite, they were able to realize and quantify benefits across four major areas. They were able to increase revenue, they were able to show an improvement in employee productivity. They were able to reduce uh, IT costs, both OPEX as well as cap CAPEX. They were also able to reduce the risk of a data breach and improve their overall security posture. As you can see, customers were able to see tangible improvements and KPIs that are very important to the business and business leaders to uh, evaluate a solution. They were able to directly link a revenue improvement, show what it means uh, to drive employee productivity, security and risk uh, reduction, as well as reducing the burden on overall IT. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at how these metrics and KPIs actually get translated into the $55 million benefit uh, that this organization achieved. So the interviewed organizations noted that one of the key advantages of going to G Suite is that it catalyzed a cultural change. It, it brought about an organizational shift towards embracing innovation and changed the way the employees did their work and saw their company. G Suite allowed the organization to break down silos across teams. For example, very tangibly we heard sales teams who were oftentimes frustrated creating documents getting documents, frustrated with marketing, were able to access information on the fly, um, on sites, and spend a lot more time with their customers, which not only sped up the sales cycle, but increased the sales pipeline. Employees across business units uh, and markets could now share and access data more easily, improving the agility and the flexibility that the organization now had, and which led to faster and better decision making. It allowed the organization to empower employees to do uh, and make faster decisions because everyone was working off the same sort of, same uh, foundational data um, that was in, in housed in certain silos. And now teams also had access to customer, historic customer data, insights, product and marketing doc documentation, which elevated the quality of customer interactions, resulting in increased loyalty, also the lifetime value of a customer. So for the organization we talked about, which is $3 billion, they attributed 1.5% improvement in revenue. So on a yearly basis, the organization was seeing about $33 million of tangible revenue uh, that can, they can attribute to G Suite. And over three years, um, at a 15% margin, the organization saw about $13 million in bottom line profits. The second benefit was the organization with about 20,000 employees saw 171 hours or roughly 21 days time saved with going to G Suite. And now this time savings comes from a variety of factors. There's seamless real-time editing in docs, sheets, slides that allow employees to easily collaborate and access information. This leads to shortened, shortened meetings even eliminating meetings via Hangouts and chat. It reduces corporate travel. It also allows employees 
to access and share information while they're traveling or working remotely and get the same access as they would uh, had they been within the organizational infra infrastructure. The cloud native nature of G Suite um, also provides updates in the cloud so that are automatically pushed out. So it eliminates user downtime um, with what was happening in the legacy environment. For 20,000 employees, this translates to over 5 million hours saved for the organization, which results into $22 million of benefits um, for the organization that we just talked about. The representative organization also was able to really reduce the pressure on its IT teams. Um, not only in the number of, and the cost of maintaining infrastructure, so on the CapEx side, but they were able to e easily make their IT team scalable and provide, provided enough cap, cap or OpEx leverage to reduce IT teams. Additionally, the organization was able to reduce legacy software licenses across their point uh, collaborations uh, um, platforms, including mobility management, spam and malware filtering, content management, and identity access management. They were able to reduce this. So in addition, the representative organization got 20% fewer support tickets as it related to collaboration tasks, such as email, productivity, document sharing, et cetera. So over three years, from an IT perspective, there were $13.2 million in both OpEx and CapEx savings. With G Suite, the organization was also able to start filtering out 99.9% .9 of all malicious emails that were coming into their environment. This results not only in a reduced threat, but the additional malware and the data incidents that require remediation for security teams. Additionally, organizations noted that 50% of any threat that comes into their organization comes via email or collaboration platforms, and the other 50% is through the other IT environment. So on the 50% that they were, uh, uh, where the threat comes in, in terms of email and the collaboration platform, organizations noted a 95% reduction uh, in the risk of a data breach, which was enormous in terms of the security posture that the organization would have. So over three years, this represented a tangible value of $7.5 million um, for the organization. In summary, we talked about the customers that we've interviewed and how we developed a representative organization and how they achieved a 331% ROI uh, and $43 million in NPV. What's important to note that the NPV number includes a couple of different factors. And when you read the full study, so the NPV factors in all the costs that organizations um, had to incur. This includes a seven month implementation time, includes professional services as well as internal labor. It also includes ongoing labor that they had to dedicate to G Suite uh, and the G Suite license cost. Also for the representative organization, they actually decided to go with a third party single sign on um, so they were incurring that cost, which is baked into this NPV. But Google now offers a single sign-on that comes within their G Suite license that's not factored into this analysis. So with that, I want to thank you uh, for your time, and I'll hand it over to uh, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anish. We promised you metrics and KPIs, and you got metrics and KPIs, I think. <laughs> so you can, don't hesitate to, to download the full report. It's a 27 pages PDF, if I'm not wrong, if I'm not mistaken. So you get all the details, all the KPIs uh, in this one. And it was a global study, so uh, customers from uh, North America, uh, EMEA, and so on. Uh, so don't hesitate, it's free. I'll give you some time to uh, snap a quick peek or copy the the URL. And I would like to welcome back on stage Monica from uh, Benko da Vivienda, who will share her experience about uh, our digital transformation project in financial services. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Anish. Um, hello, everyone. I'm so happy and excited to be here. Oh, let me see. 
Okay, guys. Um, I want to share our experience um, to uh, the project that we did uh, with G Suite and, our, and also with Google Cloud Platform. So let me tell you a little bit about us. So who we are. So we are a major financial um, institution in Colombia. So there are any Colombians in the house? Oh, yeah, we have many Colombians in the house, so that's really good. So let me tell you about the Vivienda. So we are uh, a major financial institution. Then we have presence in six countries. We have presence in Colombia, in Panama, in El Salvador, Costa Rica, Honduras, and we have a little branch in Miami. Also, uh, our headquarters is based in Bogota, Colombia. And let me tell you some, uh, uh, some of the numbers. So we have 40 years uh, market presence. We have 10 million customers. And also we have 18,000 uh, employees all over the region. So here is some numbers also. We are the third largest bank in Colombia, the second uh, bank in Colombia by gross loans. And then we have some numbers or who we are over here. We have efficiency, gross loans, and some assets that I would like to share with you um, this afternoon. And I want to tell you a little bit our digital journey. It will start talking about our digital journey this journey started uh, going, uh, the Vivienda decided to be mobile first in Colombia. So everything that is happening right now in Colombia is right here. Also, everything that is happen, happening internally is happening right here. So I want to show you a little bit of that. So this is uh, our offer, and this is one of our top mobile services. So what we have right now, we have a managed personal finances, insurance, mobile loans, opening online products, send and receive money, uh, in which our customer can do all of the banking transactions for their cell phones. So what they can do there? payments, check balance, apply for a credit, open an account, and that just in five minutes. So that's why, um, also I have something else to tell you that is so cool. And we were the first bank in the world that we have this little house over here. You see, that we call it um, Casita Roja, the red house. and. What we can do with this red house in a keyboard, we can do send national remittance, we can charge our cell phones. If you don't have um, to call someone, you can do it by over here, then split payments and also send money. So that's our offer, but that's why we decided to do the Vivienda Go. And we decided to do this project because uh, changing the face of the vivienda for our customers was the easy part. But the difficult part was to change internally because we have this innovative offer. As you see, we have the keyboard, the little house and the keyboard. So everyone in Colombia is like, wow, not only in Colombia, in El Salvador, in Honduras, and Miami where we have presence, but inside we look like old fashioned. And that's where Google help us to change our mindset. So we have uh, three uh, main attributes in our company, and those are friendly, trustworthy, and simple. As you can see, we were really good at friendly. We were really good at and trustworthy. But we were pretty bad at simple. And that's why we decided to do the Vivienda Go. To change what? To change the way we work, the way we communicate, and the way we learn. Why? Because we are um, for first customer. We do believe that we need to give the best customer services to our customers, and we have more than 10 million of customers, so we have to do something different. And let me tell you a story, a short story. 
that simple, that was pretty bad. But in 2016, we were number 12 in Colombia in customer service. In 2017, we moved to the fourth place. And let me tell you something amazing. Last year, we were number one. And that's why, because we were doing something called the Vivienda Go. That was uh, our implementation, our deployment. It took us like seven months to migrate 8,000 uh, employees, workers to G Suite in all these countries. So seven months. I guess that was our shortest project ever. So I'm pretty excited, just seven months. And then sh later I'm gonna show you uh, our partners in crime because they're here today. <laughs> So, and something that I believe is pretty unique in the vivienda, before uh, we started with G Suite, every time that we think in, B in G Suite, we weren't thinking about uh, Gmail or slides or docs or forms. All of that is amazing. I, I love it. But we were thinking, okay, when we have G Suite, we were able to do corporate governance, automatize uh, our sales performance model called MASI. We can do finally our transformation office. We can do self-learning, self sales digital support, digital and effective meetings. That's why we wanted so bad the G Suite to do this over here. So I have... Um, something that I have to share with you with the corporate governance and Google Suite, Suite, Google Suite has led Banco de Vivienda and has its corporate governance system as well as empower digital transformation at all levels. From the person who is at the, at the branch saying hello, welcome to the Vivienda, how can I help you, to our CEO. So everywhere was involved in this transformation because we saw G Suite as an opportunity to transform the things we do and also to transform our internal processes. Then we have something that we really love and we call it Masi is our sales performance model, and it includes our preparation, management, and tracing. So I want to share these um, numbers with you because thanks to Massey, we increased our sales from 2017, from 2018, in 14%. And behind all of that, is G Suite. Behind all of that is GCP. So this is really good for us. I don't know, for you. <laughs> and then we have the 26% more credit applications thanks to Masi and thanks to mobile loan. Also, I have some other numbers over here that I want to share with you. We have 4.7 million operating savings. How we got the number? I mean, less traveling around Colombia. We have like a tricky geography. Then we have over here, um, once, less traveling, self-learning, and also uh, we have uh, IT um, cost in included in that number too. And something that is really good as I, as I said before, we want to uh, transform our processes. We have 13,000 hours uh, in the last year saved by simplifying processes. And now I'm going to tell you how, how we are doing this. OK. Um, this is my baby. I'm going to present my baby. This is the transformation office. And in order to transfer our processes, we create the Go, the Go Implementation Center. In Spanish, we call it CIGO, C-I-G-O, CIGO. And what CIGO is? 
So SIGO is a multidisciplinary work cell in church of optimizing and streamlining the day-to-day -day processes of the organization thanks to the adoption of G Suite tools which allows to transform the initiatives of the employees. We call those employees our Go, our go Guides. Also, we have around 5,000 Go Guides that they just want to change like the world. So we are doing really cool things that I want to share with you. So how is Sego composed? So here we, uh, here we have like the word sales of Seagull. So what we have in here, so we have the Google Guides that they are users, users who create and propose the initiatives. Also we have the Go managers, they're expert in processes inside the bank. Then we have our consultation desk because we have always to account with um, information, security. And let me tell you something. This thing over here is so secure because we are a bank and we are using it. So this gray hair over here is thanks to security and compliance and risk, but this is secure. And the challenge that we have over here is that we have to learn what's going on on the cloud because we always work on premise and we already have what's go already know what happened over there, but we didn't know what's happening on the cloud and we have to learn how to do it. And this is pretty secure. Then we have the lab go that they help us uh, with design of prototypes. Then we have the Go developers. So they do in development with app scripts and help us uh, to get those codes that those are amazing. And that's what the, mo the most I love. We call it Go assets. And that's uh, really nice. Then we have the Go assets guardian who help us uh, with uh, support. And I'm going to show you a little video. That's real people. I mean, it's not pictures. That's a real people, real employees from the vivienda, from everywhere. And that's how it uh, looks like our codes or go assets. Okay, and then I have some results from that um, transformation office. And today in Sego, we have more than 700 initiatives filled. We have 143 initiatives in work in progress and 439 complete. 80% of these of this initiatives are sizes extra small and smalls, which means that they are self-management of the employees. The other 20% uh, is carried out by Sego, corresponding to sizes medium and sizes uh, medium and large. And this management has shown some very important results, which is saving 1.6 million in development um, science is no longer to hire a um, third party anymore because we are doing like the development in-house. 
And the most important thing is we are saving uh, 5,000 hours in these processes. Remember that before I, I, I show you a number with 13,000 uh, hours in save processes. These 5,000 hours are included in those 13 um, over there. And finally, I just want to say thank you to all of you for being here. And to listen, a, a Colombiana speaking English, thank you so much. And I hope you understand everything <laughs> that, I, that I'm saying. But our journey with G Suite has definitely made an impact. It has changed our lives. This is a new way of working, has given us the opportunity to reconnect with our roots, talent and motivation and revive the power of our employees uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. We are grateful and hope to continue higher levels of innovation. And I want to say thank you to our uh, implementation uh, partner, Da Vinci Technologies. Thank you so much because you help us a lot to do this. Then also, I want to thank the teams in Colombia, in El Salvador, in Honduras, and Costa Rica, in Miami, that makes this possible. And thanks to Google in Colombia that help us a lot. So thank you very much.